So for this video, we have uh, three LEDs that are in series and then a capacitor that is uh, parallel to them. There is no power coming to these circuits. These are uh, jumpers that I attach the oscilloscope probes to, to uh, measure the voltage. And there you can see when I get a light on them, we can get, it uh, looks like maybe a volt and a half, there you go, almost uh, two volts right there, if we get the light on them uh, correctly. And the capacitor was uh, to help, you know, kind of store the charge for a little bit. You can see it doesn't drop down to nothing right away. But uh, this particular flashlight, the light flashes on and off uh, rapidly to control its brightness. And the LEDs would pick that up without the capacitor. You'll see that uh, with this particular light, we get uh, oscillations going up and down like that. And as I do with most of my videos, I drew together a uh, diagram for this video. So, in any case, we got the capacitor. As I said, we had the flashlight. It was giving pulses of light to the LEDs and uh, or pulses that were off. Maybe it was on most of the time. I don't know. But in any case, we were uh, picking that up with the oscilloscope when we removed the capacitor. So, uh, the light would charge the capacitor and it would hold the charge long enough for the oscilloscope to read uh, the voltage for the most part. Um, but uh, also you could use uh, something like this. In fact, solar panels usually uh, charge a battery to be used later on. And uh, so we're kind of simulating that a little bit too with the capacitor. As you saw, when I removed the light, it held some charge. Now, most of that discharge, some of it probably got through the LEDs, but most of it probably went through the oscilloscope. So it's uh, not supposed to let current through it, but a little bit does trickle through. So the higher the impedance, the less current that would trickle through and the more accurate that voltage measurement we would get. But uh, in any case, I used a half a microfarad uh, capacitor, a 0.47 microfarad. Doesn't have to be that value, it could be a different value. Doesn't really matter. A lot of experimentation you could do with this. But in any case, of course, just grab a solar panel if you really want to uh, gather electricity, uh, current, and uh, voltage from uh, light. Uh, don't do this, but be aware though, Light falling on uh, LEDs or other uh, diodes where their chemistry is exposed to light will produce a voltage and some current. Uh, the vast majority of the time it has no impact on the circuit, but sensitive circuits might be impacted. So it's something to be aware of. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.